Next is number five on your list. I'm sitting in front of a, uh, a, a group of Skimia japonica. Okay, so uh, uh, Japanese Skimia is in the Rutaceae family, which is uh, the citrus family. And first thing I'll mention is that like many plants in the citrus family, it uh, has various fragrant parts. So in this case, uh, the leaves, uh, which are most of what we have right now, have a very spicy uh, uh, fragrance. So they don't smell like oranges, um, but they do have a spicy uh, aromatic fragrance to them. The leaves, uh, I should mention, are alternately arranged. They are elliptic, generally entire, uh, meaning they don't have any teeth or bumps, but they sometimes can have some uh, crenate margins. If you look here, there is a bit of a pigment, red pigment in the petiole, and sometimes you'll see that and sometimes you won't, so it's not a, uh, a completely uniform character. So um, there are a number of different cultivars of Skimia japonica that are on the market. Some of them are uh, knee high or lower, so very uh, low growing, almost like a, um, uh, a, a tall ground cover, I guess I would say. Up to, there are six, seven footers. These are sort of an inter intermediate, uh, five or so uh, foot tall uh, in the case of this cultivar. Also, uh, it is a dioecious species, and so I'm clearly sitting in front of a female plant, and they typically have red berries, as you see here, or red fruit, as you see here. It's also a nice time to see them going through the progression from green all the way uh, through ripe red. Uh, males uh, typically have a little larger inflorescence. Uh, truth be told, I, I don't know if I'm holding a male or a female here, but these are uh, inflorescence that's in development at this stage. Okay? Uh, they have white flowers produced in these uh, centrally located terminal uh, inflorescences. The other thing I'm going to point out here is uh, they are not without some, some fairly serious pest issues here in Corvallis. Uh, this is spider mite damage, and we typically don't think of much spider mite damage being out of doors, but they are really impacted. And spider mites like dry, uh, warm climate, and so it turns out that in, in Corvallis we have this modified Mediterranean climate, and so uh, spider mites actually do quite well uh, in the heat of our uh, heat and dry of our summers. Probably not going to be an issue elsewhere, but this is a plant that likes the, the Mediterranean climate, not going to be one you grow very much in the deep south uh, or southeast. But nevertheless, a, a constant performer, uh, and even with the spider mite damage, these are still thriving. And uh, multi-season interest with the flowers and these uh, great fruit. And then if you don't have uh, spider mite damage, the leaves are really quite uh, attractive year-round as it's an evergreen. That's uh, Skimia japonica.